In many areas west of I-95, owning exotic animals, even dangerous ones, is popular. Andrew Lawful now live to explain why and how strict the rules are. Andrew? Hey Kelly, so it really comes down to danger danger level. There's a permitting process, levels one, two, and three. So that kangaroo storm, that's a level three, not considered that dangerous, but there are plenty of level ones, the dangerous ones here in our area. Life out here moves at a little different pace. You go east of 95 and you have a beach life, you know, but out here it's a totally different world. It's it's like Okeechobee. Kyle Asplund owns 12 and a half acres in Jupiter Farms with his 100 crocodiles and 20 alligators. About 30 minutes from Kyle, Mark McCarthy's wildlife sanctuary in the acreage. Lions, tigers, ligers, and more. It's a huge responsibility. Both Mark and Kyle have class one permits, the strictest rules for the most dangerous animals. And when people want animals, you, know, you really got to know a lot about it, in my opinion, before you get anything. A class one permit takes proof you have enough experience with the animal, proper enclosures, insurance, and subject to regular inspection, all tied to a business. You can't just do it for fun. You got this mindset of, you know, you got a lot of responsibility for the people that work here, for the tourists that come here. Kyle's business is selling the babies. This is my 13 foot alligator here. In addition to protecting us from the exotic animals, there's more to it. Showing people these animals are not cold blooded killers. There's a lot more to them. To protect the animals from us. Now, Mark McCarthy says if it turns out that that kangaroo was able to jump out of its enclosure, enclosure, he wouldn't be surprised if FWC changes its rules. We're live in Jupiter Farms, Andrew Lawfoam, WPTV News Channel 5. The